Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's Sarah here, Creating with Sarah. Thanks for stopping by. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys a little update in my mini Happy Planner on the go. We're gonna put some new accessories on it and I'm so excited, so let's get started. Okay, I'm excited. So some of the things that I have here in this little um, box here, I reused it. This is the packaging from the deluxe cover. I have the Miss Maker bookmark paper clips. I have the um, Super Mom um, Happy Planner patches. I have the Happy Planner uh, pocket inspiration note cards. And then I have the pocket sleeves for the mini as well. So we're gonna open this up, take a look at the pocket cards, and I'm gonna decide which patch is gonna go on my deluxe cover. And then some cute bookmarks to accessorize with. Okay, so here's my gorgeous mini Happy Planner Deluxe cover. So pretty, I love the mint, and it says plan a happy life. It does have the bright um, blue in the inside, it's so pretty. And I'm definitely gonna have this as a memorable deluxe cover, that's for sure. Um, if you guys don't know, if you saw my haul or my Insta feed, I met Hannah Joy when they were in the OC area, and that was so exciting, and what a blessing. She's so sweet. But I, every time I look at this, I'm going to think of that moment. So that's really cool. Okay, so I also have this extra mini Happy Planner. This is a 2018 that I also purchased and hauled. Um, I decided to pick it up so I could reuse the covers because it doesn't say a year on there. And I definitely wanted to use the yellow disc and swap it for my current Happy Planner. And this is the back. And the inside is just like this cool... Um, hot pink chevron so I could definitely use that as well um, so yeah let's get started so I'm gonna go ahead and first remove these discs and swap them out. Okay, so I'm definitely going to reuse these um, dashboards. You could use these to make a collage in your planner space or craft room space. Um, you could definitely just reuse them as a current dashboard. You, do, you would just have to place something on the back here. Um, yeah, or you could use them to cut out and photo frame them in your planner space as well. Um, but I would definitely reuse these. I think they're really cute and fun. So I'm going to set these aside, and then I, I'm i not sure if I'm going to use the paper, but I'll keep it to the side, but I'm not really sure if there's any need to, but I'm, I'll definitely recycle it. Okay, so now I'm going to take out the disc. We are all done. I uh, changed out the disc, so now I can insert it into my deluxe cover or mini deluxe cover. And I think the yellow with the blue multicolors is so pretty together. I love it. Okay, so now that she's tucked in there, we can go ahead and open up the goodie accessories and see what I'm going to put into my planner. So I think we all know what the pocket or protective sleeves look like. Um, they might be all the same size and the same layout. Yeah. So you get 12 of the same layout, which is two two by twos, or actually four, but two on top, two on the bottom. And then I think this is a three by four. It doesn't say but I'm pretty sure this is a 3x4. So really cool. I love that I picked these up. I think these are really handy for photos, um, from any type of memory keeping, or you can just use it as your personal um, divider, and you could just use the Happy Planner tabs or sticker tabs to put on there as well and just get some like heavy-duty cardstock paper um, so it could be a little bit more sturdy. But... I wanted to see what is in 
the pocket cards. So we're going to open this up and see what's in here. Which ones? Okay, so this says start today. Have a have a heart of gratitude. That's pretty. Be stronger than your strongest excuse. That will be good in a fitness one. Um, a little heart. Do all things with kindness. That's what's on the cover of my planner now. Happy go lucky. That's cute. That would be cute for a holiday um, spread. Don't be afraid to do something big. That's nice. Today's the perfect day. Today's the perfect day to be happy. That's cute. I like the bold yellow. So I like that one. You got this. I like that one. Get it done. I like that one. I may use that one. And I like this multicolored one. So those I like so far. Let me set this aside. Okay, so we have another set here. Okay, so we have another set here. Early sunsets. Early sunsets, warm tea, messy hair, big sweaters. Oh, yes, that's so true. I like that one. I like this one. This is like um, some scallops, big plans. I like that one. Fabulous. That's pretty. Get it, girl. That's cute. That would be cute in a, um, my fitness planner. Hello, darling. That one's really pretty. Life is a beautiful ride. I like that one. This week was amazing. Be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. Your heart be your guide. Put on your positive pants. Life takes time. Those are all good ones. And then the three by fours. Okay, now for the three by fours. Girl, you're going places. Make it happen. I love this one. This is like the watercolor one and the cover of my planner. So I really like that one. Oh, this one's cute. Daily essentials. That's really cute. Tips from a pineapple. Stand tall, wear a crown, and stay sweet on the inside. That is so true. Ever since we moved to California, I've been getting... Uh, it's because of family that we hang out with at the beach. She would always bring like fresh, fresh pineapple at the beach. And I loved it, and it's just, it tastes so much better when you cut it from a fresh pineapple than when you buy it, like, pre-packaged at the store or in a can. It just, it tastes so sweet. But this is cute, I like that one. Uh, currently one. Today will be full of wonderful things. That's a great positive outlook. Dreams don't work unless you do. I like that one. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. It in life what you have the courage to ask for. I don't know I can't read this right, but yeah, there's that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a cute bold one. It's like, has some foiling on it. Happy mind, happy life. Don't quit. Create your own sunshine. Live well. I love this one. That's pretty. Uh, make today great. I like that one. You got this. I like that one. Um... Be happy today. You've got this. That's pretty too. Okay, so these are all cute. So I'm going to figure out which ones. Which th Well, this pile is the ones I really like, so I'm going to set these aside. But, you know, I might change my mind. Okay, so let's look into the paper clips. Okay, I thought I would zoom in on the paper clips. I'm sorry, I apologize. I should have done that with the note cards. Um, so we have some hearts with stitching around them. So pretty. I like this one. The two-tone teal and purple. The washi. These are so cute. I'm so glad I got these. Okay, and then we have um, a glue gun. Make do. They're like little flags. That's cute. And then these are awesome. I love anything confetti, birthday-like. Those are fun. Okay. So now I have these in here. Okay, so we have sewing machines, which are adorable. Again, I don't sew, I don't sew personally, but I really want to get my youngest into sewing because she loves fashion, and um, 
she's always wanted to learn, but I'm just not the best at teaching that. Um, so I might save these for her or I might save them for a swap. If I ever go to a meetup and um, they have like a swap thing, I might, uh, I'll definitely take these um, because I won't use them. We have these rainbow round square looking ones, really cute. Oh my gosh, the sticker books. These are awesome. See, this is why I really wanted this. And my stores did not have these. And that's why I picked them up off the Happy Planner website. Or me and my big ideas. Because they might still have them on there. So definitely pick them up if you do not have these. These are so cute to accessorize your planner. <laughs> Love that. Super Mom Planner Patches. These are cute. And I saw this all over Instagram um, with other moms putting these on their planners and I love that idea. I, I definitely think you can put them on um, other things. Oh my gosh these are so fun. So I definitely think you could put these on like maybe a canvas bag, maybe a planner bag, a pencil pouch or something. But these are so fun. Oh my goodness. So I love the hashtag mom life for sure. That's so cute. I mean, they're all cute, but I'm, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to use this one. But I love this, Plan a Happy Life, so it's kind of hard. And I'm not sure how sticky they are. Oh my gosh, that's cute. The pink is cute. They're all cute. Okay. And then I could definitely use this on my classic deluxe cover, my white one so pretty that gold looks like I like this one on here and yeah I might put just winging it on the blue one and then use this for my white one I'm not sure what do you guys think <laughs> okay look at my desk I love all the colors I look I love everything that's going on on my desk over here okay so let's figure this out. These have a adhesive dots on them, right? Or is this just glued to this? Oh, it's just glued to this. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so it has paper, sticky paper. So it, it's, um, I'm sorry, it was glued dot to the plastic film here, but it has like a sticky back on it, so you just take off. So I think I'm going to use this one, but I'm not really sure if it'll fit. I think you still see some of the gold. Maybe I should do it like this. Oh my gosh, it doesn't go over this. I don't know, guys. Okay, I'm kind of changing my mind. So let me work on some other stuff first. So I'm going to zoom you guys in, and we're going to work on one of these pocket sleeves. And let's see, I think I want to use, this one's so pretty, so maybe this Okay, so I was, you know, playing around with all the note cards and I was thinking about things and you could also, if you didn't like how everything was coming together um, of what they already prepared for you, um, you can definitely, you know, cut these up to where there are two by twos, um, like this one down here, this heart. I'm thinking about cutting this one out by two by two and it the heart actually fits perfectly. I mean, you might you know, lose some of this, but that's okay. I mean, the heart is really cute on its own. Um, and then also, I was thinking, any of the accessory packs that you guys have, like the note cards, you could definitely cut those out, especially if they're just basic um, background images. Like, I definitely like this one. I could definitely do a two-by-two two out of this one because that's part of me and who I am. I'm, you know, I'm a mom who's always on the go, and I'm just someone who loves to work out, and that's my jam. So 
I'm thinking I might use some of these as well. And then also another good tip, if you have any of the memory keeping scrapbook paper or any scrapbook paper you have, you could definitely customize your own, customize your own as well. So I only have this one, but I know there's like two different kinds. Um, I think it's more of a pastel, but this is more of a bright color. And what I did is I actually took already cut out two by two and I stuck it where I want it and just traced it with a pencil. I think this is going to be the easiest um, unless you guys are really great with um, saving paper and cutting it out on your cutting board. But this is what I did. So I just took this template made a square with a pencil of where I wanted my image which is I wanted the center of this and that's how I did that. I think that's the simplest way to do it. Um, I do have the extra paper here. I could definitely reuse this, the scrapbooker that I am, and um, glue it in my planner. So um, that's what I did and that's what I did with the heart as well. So this is my layout. I think I'm going with this, even though I could do this all day. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> uh, so this is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And then the back side, I haven't decided if I will leave it, use it for journaling, or maybe um, do some pictures. Not sure, but I'm just going to work with this today because um, I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, guys, I am done. Um, I think it's perfect as it is at the moment. Um, I'm definitely going to add some pictures in it, but let me go ahead and share with you guys what I did. Okay, so opening it up. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so on this side, I decided to stick the planner patch down here, just winging it. I think it's so adorable. Um, and then in the pockets, it's kind of more of a decorative feel at the moment. I actually put these um, 3x4 cards, pocket cards in here this way just to give it some fun vibe. I put um, another 3x4 and then I stuck in a 2x2 underneath this um, Miss Maker bookmark and then I um, took some of my sticky notes, cut them down, round out the corners with my corner chomper and slide that in there really nicely. So definitely always save your packaging, um, the plastic film. You could definitely just clean them up and cut them down and use them for your sticky notes and things. Okay, and so in the back side, um, I have a bunch of fun stickers that I popped in here. Um, my daughter plays softball, so these are from Hobby Lobby Paper Studio. And I know they're not softballs, but I prefer the baseball over the softballs. Um, and then I actually took some stickers from the um, Healthy Hero Accessory Pack, these right here. Um, I didn't take any um, fitness related ones, but I did take these. These say reschedule, lunch, and dinner, and I definitely can use those as a everyday thing for mom on the go stuff. And then in my Super Mom Accessory Pack, I did take some stickers out. Um, I love these daily focuses. Um, I have used these already. This this says no school, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to use these coffee cups here. We have some checklist things up here. And then these are really great. These are clear stickers that have a lot of, um, you know, geared to mom life. So I thought those would be fun to stick in the back for now. In the pockets. So that will go behind there. Everything just looks so cute peeking out. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, so here's the planner. I love the yellow disc. I think it came out really cute. So we're going to flip through this. So opening up, I have some sticky note pads here. Um, I like sticking this on there uh, because this is laminated and it's just easier. But also, I wanted to mention, if you have these... I know there's some other ones that are not Miss Maker, but these are Miss Maker and these are actually sticky notes, but they are from the side. You could definitely use these. Um, I only have Miss Maker, but like I said, I think Happy Planner has um, some basic ones that are not geared to craft life. So they're sticky on on the, the side here and not at the top, but that could work too if you were interested on how to, to use these. Um, but I just picked these up because they were on clearance. Um, but you could definitely pop those here because this is laminated and it sticks really nicely in there. So I like to have that as a list 
pad section. Okay, so here is the, let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so on this side, I here's the pocket sleeve that I did. I love it, so cute. And then on the back is blank. I'm gonna put some pictures in there. So here I have a pocket folder. Uh, I don't have anything in it at the moment. I did have some baseball stickers in there or softball, whichever. I had stickers in there, but um, not at the moment. So I have a pocket there. Then I have sticky notes here, which I love using. I have these on a plastic film that came with my fitness planner um, box kit a while back ago. And then this is from Healthy Heroes sticky notes. And then here is a year at a glance for 2019. And this planner, I have other videos on it. It was a um, six month, no, it was a 18 month planner and I took out the 2018 part, but definitely check those videos out because I explained everything in that because this is kind of like a DIY type of planner for myself. Okay, so flipping into January, um, I'm not using the currently page. I went ahead and um, placed some mini Healthy Hero filler paper over that and customized it to where I put all the um, dinners we had in the month of January. And I and I did that for up until March, so that way I know what we ate. If I got stuck, I can look back and say, oh, that's what we had. And none of it is repeated um, that I wrote down. So I only wrote things down that what we had in January that might have been different in February and March. So those are some of the things that we had dinner-wise. And then flipping into January's monthly, I just wrote down stuff that was um, pretty basic for January. Okay, and then we flip into this custom page here that I made. And so this is just like a chart for me, um, a weekly chart, reference page type of thing, um, you know, what what goes on in my mom life. Um, so Monday is laundry day or grocery shopping. Tuesdays and Thursdays are like my chores, cleaning days. Wednesday is more of like projects or something short um, that I could get done quickly. Maybe it's, you know, dropping things off at Goodwill or whatnot because that's a minimum day for my kids. And then Friday is what I like to have as me time days. But it sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time, during the week, my goal is to do things Monday through Thursday. And then, um, because my daughter just started softball, so Fridays are sometimes full of softball things. Um, and then Saturdays are shopping, errands, family day. And then Sundays is um, reset days, laundry or grocery shopping or just chilling at home. So that's just a reference page that I made for myself. Um, this is a, a reference chart for my daughter's softball games um, for every month, and I had to cover parts of it up. Um, but anyways, so I have this cute little inspiration card from Healthy Hero, and I put some stickers on there, and um, put some baseball, I mean softball stickers in here. So I made that for myself. Okay, so moving on to February. Again, this is a uh, month at a glance men menu plan. All the things that we had in February that is different from January. Um, but we probably had the same things. Like I could tell you we had tacos and tortilla soup probably in January. But I just wrote down things that were new. I didn't want to write repeat things if that makes sense. So that way when I go to meal plan I can look through the previous month and be like oh okay um, this is a great idea to eat or whatever. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so that's what I did for my mini on the go because um, there's no reason for me to use the currently page when I have a classic happy planner. Okay, so moving on, um, this is, make sure there's nothing on here I can't show. I don't think so. Okay, so for this uh, month at a glance, again, it's just a quick reference that I did, nothing to it's more functional than anything um, but I did something new in, in March okay so flipping through I'm not going to show the weekly because I've done that before so here's March again I wrote down things that were new and we didn't eat in February or January so there are some ideas for myself um, okay so flipping through March at a glance now this is where it gets fun um, so I have some tabs here which this one is from Miss Maker and then I use my label maker to put currently, and that means the current month that I'm in. 
And I have a cute um, keep it together um, bookmark here, but this says keep dreaming. And so for March, I decided to use my stamps and I wanted to do a um, weather tracker for March because um, that's when our baseball, I mean baseball, that's when our softball games just started rolling and I wanted to see how many days we'll have uh, rain days. But as you can see, March is already almost over. Um, I'm actually filming this Friday, the 29th. Um, we had a lot of sunny days, not too many rainy days. So I decided to color coordinate instead of writing in the temp or writing in what type of day. And yeah, I had fun with that. So I'm not sure if I'll do it for April, but that was really fun to use because I use a more functional month at a glance in my mom catch-all day-to-day classic planner. So this is just for my mini. And I thought this was really fun, a good take on to do something different. Okay, moving along. We're not going to go into the weeklies because I do a flip through. So I wanted to share with you guys the top tab portion. So I do have a bookmark for currently, right, for the month that I'm planning in. And then this one here is actually, um, this isn't a tab, this is a bookmark that I actually put a sticker on the back and put so happy because the bookmarks are only one-sided. They're not double-sided, so I was crafting and trying to you know, put some decoration on the other side. So that's what that is. But I have a bookmark for currently. I have a bookmark for the the week that I'm actually planning. And this is the Happy Planner tabs. And I used a clear sticker that says planning and I put that there. And then I have um, notes, which is in the back here. Which is um, in the back. And this is a bookmark that I made. I think I shared this on Instagram. It's geared to mom life. Um, this has filler paper, which is the Healthy Hero accessory pack for the mini. And that's what I use for my meal planning when I was talking about that. Um, and then the last bookmark that I have, um, our tab, is creating. So anything that I have an idea on the go, I have some paper in here that I've cut down to fit my mini. This is actually for the... Um, this is... Miss Maker, but it's um, half sheets, full half sheets for classic, but I, I cut them down. And then lastly, I have another folder. This is from the Healthy Hero Accessory Pack. And then, finally, we get to the back, and we have this cute little small pocket, and I put coupons in here. So that's what's in there. And then I do have a Happy Planner um, pin here. But that is it, guys. That is a look at how I've set my mini on the go. Um mom planner and I love it. It it works really great. Um, I think it's really cute. I've been loving it so hey guys, much. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed me setting up my um, new deluxe cover for my mini happy planner on the go. It was so much fun going through all the new goodies and setting it up. Um, so I hope you got some good tips out of that. I hope it gets you excited to set up yours possibly. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Hi to all my new subscribers. I am so ecstatic that I have my channel growing. And for those who have stuck with me through this um, journey, it's so exciting to share my creativity with you all. But give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you already haven't. You know I'd love to have you here. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care and happy planning. Bye.